finally we're at Christmas Eve and yeah it's been a really fun month doing all the vlogging and sharing um, all little aspects of my preparations for Christmas with you. I've just been sitting here winding my yarn for the Christmas Eve cast on which I'm going to do later and you have to forgive me looking a bit scruffy it's been a really busy day I've had lots of last minute cleaning to do and I've baked the ham um, yeah just generally the last minute preparation so yeah I've not actually prepared myself yet as you can see but I've got my priorities right so I've got this um, my lovely yarn from the yarn badger the fallen leaves um, self striping yarn all caked up I split it into two so that I can do um, toe up socks and use as much as I can of this yarn so I thought that'd be a good plan and I thought how nicely they would go with my little gingerbread man progress keeper and I'm going to pop it all in my lovely wintry project bags. And I've also just got around to printing off the pattern that came with the Lay Family Yarn Advent Calendar. And again, this is um, a pattern by Jules of So Sweet Violet. And it's the Winterbird Socks. So I don't know if you can see how pretty they are. They are this pattern is available on Ravelry. You can buy it. But if you bought the um, Lay Family Yarn Advent Calendar, you've got a code to get the pattern as well so that's really lovely so I should look forward to um, choosing some yarn to knit those with okay so I thought I would just do my final advents open those up um, and then I will show you the whole of the advents together because I've got some such beautiful yarn it's it's all been really lovely so let's start off with day 24 from Lay Family Yarn and colorway of this one is long tailed tit and that's really pretty it's been such a beautiful advent calendar let me just grab the box and I can show you there they are all in the all in the box together and you can see they're just absolutely stunningly beautiful colors Okay, so the next um, advent, this is day five, and I think intended for Christmas Day, but I thought I'd get these done today in case there's not time tomorrow. Um, this is from Susie at Elderflower Stitches. Oh, look at that. That's a really, really beautiful little glittery tea light. How pretty is that? Gorgeous. It's not scented, it's just glittery, but wow, when you've got that much glitter, I don't think you need scent as well, do you? And... that's sitting still enough can you see it's a tiny feather like an angel feather so so pretty and all in rose gold again so I've been really spoiled for, for progress keepers and, and stitch markers with this advent um, and this is my Christmas day skein from the fine fish yarns advent that I got as well and again this was not minis this was full skeins to open every advent Sunday and this is, oh, oh, how pretty. Easter Snowman is the colourway. Isn't that gorgeous? Just peaches and sort of shades of sort of clementine. Lots of lovely speckles. Terry's speckles are just amazing. She just speckles yarn so cleverly. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely stunning. That would be really nice if I can find a coordinating mini. To do these i'm sure i've got some coordinating minis in my stash and in actual fact let me just share with you i'm just going to reach for my basket where i've been storing everything so i shared with you um the fine fish yarns as they arrived so the first one was the figgy pudding that was followed by nutcracker and then finally by sugared violet and in between, there was this beautiful um, Surrey silk lace in the Alpine colourway. So I'll just get them. So those were the Fine Fish Yarns Advent skeins. And obviously the Christmas Day, I think, was, um, I, I think it was an optional um, extra that you could add if you wanted it. And I did look up the pattern for these. And it's a really lovely shawl by Brixton Pearl. And it's a little bit reminiscent of um, Birds of a Feather with stripes of the Surrey alpaca 
So I might consider doing that one, but what I am thinking is how beautiful would these three be for another boho blush? I think they would be stunning. So I'm very, very tempted to knit another boho blush using these three skeins. Um, in the Fine Fish Yarns, there were also these three gorgeous minis, 20 gram minis, so they are stunning. And I'm thinking possibly the hot orange one, possibly with that, maybe not. I have to have a little play around. And while I've got the basket out, just to share my other skeins that joined me during um, December, was this beautiful homespun house, Achy Breaky Heart, which is from my friend Amanda, part of my Christmas present from her. This is just gorgeous, so beautiful, with all the pinks and purples and even the reds in it. I love this one. And not forgetting my swap that I did with Susie of Elderflower Stitches. And she sent me these two beautiful, beautiful, delicate skeins. This one is Beatrice on her Super Sock base. And this one is First Position, which I think is part of her Back to Ballet collection that she did in her Flossy Lace um, Mohair and Silk base. So what a lot of beautiful yarn I've um, I've been given and bought as part of my advents um, in December. It's just absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward to planning some New Year cast-ons with some of those. Right, I better go and get myself tidied up and uh, see if I can get this cast-on done. I'll see you later. made it through to Christmas Eve we've had supper and had our showers and got our Christmas pajamas on so it's uh, nothing much more to do now than wait for Santa to arrive I've done the tiniest little bit of my Christmas Eve cast on I've just got the tiniest tippy bits of a toe and I should be doing a little bit more of that before I settle down for the night but I wanted to thank you all for watching my vlogmas and your comments and likes and for sharing my first vlogmas with me you've made it so super special thank you um sorry for the shaky hand and just to wish you all the merriest of christmases i hope you have a lovely day whatever you're doing and especially those of you that find it a little bit difficult at this time of year i'll especially be thinking of you have a lovely christmas everybody bye <laughs>